The granite faces of the presidents on Mount Rushmore in South Dakota celebrate 200 years of American history. But not far from here is another important landmark. 65 million years old, it's some of the last ground that dinosaurs ever walked on. During the late Cretaceous, the Great Inland Sea retreated, causing a dramatic shift in the environment. Now forests and fields stretch for hundreds of miles in every direction. Grass has yet to evolve, so the plains are covered with ferns and herb-like plants. of the Cretaceous, evolution is in overdrive. After 160 million years, the size and sophistication of the dinosaurs is breathtaking. But these creatures are the last of their kind. Triceratops is one of the largest animals on the Northern Plains. Although it's related to Zuniceratops, time has made a dramatic difference. These are giants, twice the size of a rhinoceros. Their heads are huge, up to 11 feet long, and their frills are seven feet wide. Triceratops are plant eaters, they roam the plains in herds, grazing on ferns and small trees like palmettos, while keeping an eye on their young. Of all the plant eaters, Anatototitan is the most efficient because of the way it processes food. Members of the hadrosaur family, they're famous for their bills, which look like a duck's. Hadrosaurs tend to be big, up to 30 feet long. But an anatotitan is even bigger. They range up to 40 feet, the length of a bus. Here, size is no accident. Three million years ago, a monster arrived in South Dakota. Now it's the scourge of the American West. Tyrannosaurus Rex. T-Rex is the consummate killing machine. Its skull is a lethal weapon. Although it's 40 feet long, it's not the size of the animal that makes it deadly. It's the size of its mouth. The bigger the mouth, the bigger the bite. Bye. Triceratops is feasting on shrubs. The last in a long line of horned dinosaurs, their ancestors migrated from Asia. With horns as long as broom handles, and hides as tough as a rhino's, these dinosaurs have only one known enemy. Sensing danger, the group closes ranks.
Nothing could be more menacing than the frill and horns of an angry Triceratops. At 17 feet from tip to tail, this T-Rex is a teenager, less than half the size of its parents. The herd can wait. Chasing prey for a living is a chancy business. Even carnivores like T-Rex are not always successful. At dusk, the odds are even poorer. Daylight favors the predators. As night falls, colors fade, depth perception decreases, and familiar images begin to blur. Without a kill, this youngster flunked its first test as a solitary hunter. T-Rexes is a force to be reckoned with. The male stands 12 feet tall. The female is even bigger. A veteran of the combat zone, she bears the scars of a hard life. Her legs been crippled by painful injury. Still, she rules the roost. A young T-Rex still relies on its parents for support. T-Rex's skull is huge. Over five feet long, filled with air spaces to accommodate an elaborate network of nerves and muscles. Its brain is the size of a gorilla's. Its teeth are serrated for shearing meat, and its jaw is powerful enough to crush bone. While its arms are too short for grasping prey, its body is massive and robust. Its ribs are an interlocking array of bones designed to help it breathe. Equipped with strong, sturdy legs, T-Rex is braced to spring to the attack. Tomorrow, the youngsters will learn to hunt from the deadliest predator of them all. Contrary to popular opinion, life in a primeval forest is filled with endless days of boredom Moments of terror are only fleeting. Anatotitans are peaceful creatures. They'd like nothing more than to be left alone. Although they're almost as large as Tyrannosaurus rex, they have few defenses against a hungry predator, especially when they're old or sick. To protect themselves, Anatotitans congregate in herds and post sentries to look out for danger. Equipped with good eyesight, acute hearing, and a keen sense of smell, they're constantly on alert.
Hadrosaurs seem to prefer a diet high in fiber. But unlike sauropods, that rely on stones and chemicals in their gut to break down vegetation, Anatotitans have the most sophisticated food processor yet devised by nature. The front of their muzzles are toothless and rigid for shearing plants. When chewing, their jaws move from side to side, allowing a battery of hundreds of tightly packed teeth to grind the food to a pulp. Hadrosaurs are one of the most successful dinosaurs that ever lived. Scores of different species once inhabited North America, from Texas to as far away as Alaska. From birth, a baby Anatata Titan clings to its mother for protection, a behavior passed from generation to generation. As adults, Hadrosaurs cling to each other, but it's not always foolproof. The Ananita Titans have walked into a trap. The young T-Rex leaps like a bird dog flushing prey. The Anatata Titans bolt for safety. Unaware, a second youngster is lying in wait. There's one more surprise in store. Mom. Tyrannosaurus rex has terrorized the land for the last time. An asteroid bigger than Mount Everest streaks across the sky and slams into Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula at an angle of about 30 degrees. The impact gouges out a crater 120 miles wide and sends an incandescent plume of vaporized rock arcing towards the northwest at speeds close to 10 miles per second. In minutes, everything for hundreds of miles is incinerated. In South Dakota, plants and animals suffer a different fate. Some are scalded by the heat, others succumb to shock waves generated by the collision. An hour after impact, a cloud of dust and debris settles over North America. Temperatures drop, and acid rain begins to fall as nitrogen, burned by the heat, is washed out of the atmosphere. The sun won't shine again for months. First light reveals the devastation.
90% of all leaf-bearing trees and plants have been obliterated, and 70% of the animals have vanished. Most of the dinosaurs are now extinct. Not since the Great Permian Extinction gave rise to the dinosaurs had an event been so catastrophic and so final. But life is resilient. In South Dakota, a turtle angles for a perch in the sun. A primitive mammal comes out of hiding. The only dinosaur visible a bird soars overhead to remind us of the giants that are gone. The dinosaurs are one of life's great success stories. From Alaska to Mexico, Maine to California, they roam North America in huge numbers for a staggering 160 million years. In their day, they were the largest, brainiest, and most sophisticated creatures on Earth. It's unlikely anything so huge or captivating will ever pass this way again. But for a tiny mammal called Purgatorius, the future belongs to them. Someday their children will walk on the moon and think back in awe to a time when dinosaurs roamed America.